Hey guys, Thunderset here, showing you a very, very exciting new deck that revolves around Gandora and Titan Showdown. It revolves around OTKs, you want to get Gandora out, get him enough damage, and OTK your enemy, it's super useful. Um, so how, in case you don't know how Titan Showdown works, when you're at at least half of your, half or lower of your opponent's life points, you do double damage with your battle damage. So we use Gandora, who will pay half your life points, destroy as many cards as you can on the field, and banish them. And you can just keep using that over and over to make sure your Titan Showdown is always live, no matter the life points. Then we're using some stall cards, like Obnoxious Celtic Guard and Mithra, to really get more cards on the field to make it so your monsters stick. It'll help both normal summon Gandora outside of our Mausoleum of the Emperor, and it gets cards on the field. You need cards stuck on the field for Gandora. He gains 300 attack for each card he destroys. So you want seven. Seven is the magic number for an OTK. You want seven other cards on the field other than Gandora. Usually it's pretty easy to provide four, maybe even more yourself. So you're, you just need a couple from your enemy. Now, Celtic Guardian, you know what he does. He'll stick to the field if the monster's over 1900 attack. Here we have Mithra who will special summon himself and a token, and tokens will count towards Gandora's effect. So that's two cards and one right there, that's two. We have Mausoleum, which, if you don't know what that does, for every tribute you would need to normal summon something, you just pay a thousand life points, then you can normal summon it. So we'd pay two thousand life points, normal summon Gandora, use his effect, kill all we can, hopefully OTK. So we want cards stuck on the field, we want lots of cards stuck on the field. So we're using Zing Zhen cards to stick traps on the field, spell and trap cards, as well as themselves. So you hold the enemy trap cards, making them useless by keeping them on the field, and keeping themselves on the field as continuous spells. Very useful. Then we have things that keep monsters on the field, but disables them, at least for a turn, in Canadian Floodgate. Also very useful to keep monsters on the field. And now we have Aerial Recharge. Now Aerial Recharge is super useful. It can be a 2-in-1 for Gandora. It can be the trap and a token, providing two card source effect. Or you can use it to help normal summon Gandora if you don't have a mausoleum. You can have a Celtic Guard stuck on the field or a Mithra in hand. Use it, use its token, summon the Mithra, tribute your Gandora, destroy the field again. Real cool, real useful stuff, guys. It's really not as hard as you think to get to 7 when you have Mithra and uh, Aerial Recharge, making tokens and all that kind of stuff. Floodgate's also super useful to make your enemy really commit to their board. And overall, it's really fun, guys. I really like this deck. Super exciting. Its only downside is it gets absolutely destroyed by a simple Sphere Kribo or a Bacon Saver. Just one of those and your whole win condition is just tossed out the window but uh other than that it's good it, it'll snake you some wins no problem so uh i hope you guys enjoy the replays thanks okay here comes big mama from japan let's watch out using bandit keith mr america i love it i really like that rex gets such a unique skill like titan showdown so he gets more play uh it's pretty it used to be better when it was more ninja and didn't tell you every time but uh, it's still a pretty cool skill. So here we're using Cyber Dark Cannon. He brings out his... What is that? Cyber Dark Edge? So I'm sure you've seen this deck before. They go for direct attacks, but they hate Floodgates and Canadias. And guess what we got a whole bunch of? We also have our Gandor just waiting to come out. We're gonna hit him with the Canadia first, so we could get our Canadia token out. Use it as fodder for Gandora. He's got a Cosmic Cyclone, a different, uh, he hits the Floodgate. Now he's got to summon another Cyber Dark Edge in attack mode. We are going to massively misplay by sending him face down and special summoning our Canadia into defense. We should have put it into attack so these weak little monsters couldn't have gone over him. But they can, that's okay, it's not the end of the world. So here pull into another Gandora, we're gonna go for it. We use our Mausoleum, summon Gandora, use our effect, use the second. So, as you'll notice, this is enough damage now because he used the Cosmic Cyclone. So you're gonna see that often. You won't have to reach the full 4k because they use the Cosmic Cyclone or get nipped by a Celtic Guard or something, anything. 
you can hurt them as much as you're able because you'll always be able to get your life points super super low. So 1500 times 2, Titan Showdown, that's 3k, gets KO'd, we banish the Bacon Saber thanks to Gandora's effect. Super useful stuff guys, great stuff. So I would say the meta as it is right now is Ancient Gears, Subterrors, Blue Eyes definitely, and then the Neos deck that runs around and it's part Kwakimiru and part just nonsense. That's pretty much all the decks you're seeing running around. You see some rogue decks here and there, but uh, yeah, so the skill even tells your enemy you're using Titan Showdown. Here we're fighting Middle Age Max, which is super useful because that's an extra card on the field, and he sets one face down. We get to set our Obnoxious Celtic Guard, double set Canadias, we're ready to go. He uses Into the Void, which is a really weird tech for ancient gear unless it's the fusion version so we're running into the fusion version of ancient gear that's still using gear castle for some reason normal sum or special summons his gear golem the ultimate gear golem he gets hit with a canadia we survive a turn he had nothing in his hand to discard anyway good use of into the void here we get a mithra thunder vassal we're getting that cards on the field count up real high we're at six now if you'll notice so all we need really is a mausoleum he actually provides the seventh for us with future fusion flips this guy face up we're gonna put him face down again there you go now we really need a mausoleum we actually activate our uh, Canadia so we could normal summon Gandora if we wanted but we get a floodgate normal summon Gandora use our Mithra from our hand that's going to be more than enough cards on the field. Gandora wipes the field. 2400. We're one extra. But wait. He has an Ancient Gear Golem now coming to the field. Pretty cool animation. We won't watch the whole thing or anything. Here he comes. We get to use it again. Attack him again. 2700. Double that with Titan Showdown. You get 5400. Easy wins. Easy life, guys. Pretty cool. Okay, here we get a My Valentine. Who knows what kind of deck that's gonna be. Going second. That's okay with this deck. We want our opponent to build up a big, big field. Titan Showdown shows itself. She shows herself with Aroma Strategy. We have an Aerial Recharge, a Mithra. That's a lot of stuff to put into her. She's using Aroma Strategy with uh, Metaphist. So I remember this duel. It's actually a pretty interesting duel. So he uses his Metaphys uh, Daedalus to banish a Niftus. We set Aerial Recharge down. So this guy already knows what we're trying to do. He uses Damage Diet thinking Titan Showdown's effect is going to be effect damage. It's not. And it's one less card on the field. Now it's not face down. So he already knows what I'm trying to do. Here his Niftus effect lets him search his trap. He's probably scared to put his trap down here. He uses Lady Sand of the Flames. It's going to do a little bit of damage to us and banish three of his top cards. That's why he's using Aroma Strategy. So he gets three banishes. His Daedalus lets him set one. He didn't even set his trap, you'll notice. He's afraid of it getting killed. Neftis gives him a search. He searches Asceticism or whatever that word is. Uh, Tyrant Dragon is going to give him a special summon. Special summons to Neftis. That's a problem. Because that's going to banish all face down cards. That means we got to face all these boys face up. Get them face up. So this will teach you even when there's tokens. It's my turn by the way. You don't have to worry about Mithra. You can special summon Mithra at any point. So we normal summon our Gandora. He uses his damage diet. Again thinking Titan Showdown is going to be effect damage. But it's not. We use Gandora. Destroy all the cards on the field. We're already at lethal. But we have another... Mithra to give us two more. So imagine we weren't at lethal, now we're at lethal. Hit him with the double damage. Damage diet does not put it in half. 5400 again, guys. Great, fast stuff. Pretty cool. So here we are fighting a Lubel. A uh, Lubel. Yubel, last. Yubel. Whatever you want to call it. We're going second. And it's actual Yubel. They're using Yubel. So watch out. Looks like they got a lot of cards in that deck. 23 cards. So, these two cards are really crucial to the deck. 
Mithra and Aerial Recharge, because they're two and one pretty much. They're one card, but provide you with two monsters, two cards on the field. That's double the damage for a Gandor. It's super useful. Makes all the difference. So here, our U Bell does the whole U Bell thing, gets our U Bell on the field. We set our Aerial Recharge. Does nothing, ends his turn, has a U Bell. We use our Mithra, set it, since we already have another Mithra. We just want to protect from auto attacks here. He uses his Sacred Cerulean Phoenix, activates its effect, but doesn't know what it does, probably kills himself. And my Thunder Vassal attacks us with a Yaksha, but that's okay, it's not enough damage to stop us from a Mausoleum. We top deck a beautiful Mausoleum, so we use our Aerial Recharge, two cards on the field. Now we use our Thunder Vassal, two more cards on the field. So we're so close. All we need now, look, one, two, three, four, five, six. All we need now is for him to misplay and resummon his U Bell as soon as we kill him. So let's see what he does. We use 2,000 life points to summon our Gandora. Now we're super low. Use Gandora's effect even lower. Kill all the monsters. He thought forever about this. Actually, does summon his. Gandor or his U Bell. That's mistake number one. We destroy it again. Now we're lethal. He thought about this for so long. He had a Sphere Kribo in hand, guys. Let's see attack go through. Think it's only going to be 2100. Titan Showdown activates. 4200. Get by both the U Bulls. Gandora hits. 4000. Titan Showdown. Very cool deck, guys. It's actually surprisingly consistent with stuff like Mithra. Aerial Recharge and the Xing Chang Shoes, even though you didn't see them. The whole deck runs so smooth. I highly, highly suggest if you have the weird cards like Mithra, try them out. It's so, so much fun, guys. I had a blast making it. I wish I could play it more. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the replays, and thanks for watching. Bye.